And now only one more trapper left. Though I haven't actually freed any pridelings yet. Hmm, they've actually managed to whittle me down. Well done to them. You know, I'm a little concerned here. The pridelings seem to have been trapped underwater. So, yeah, it's a little concerning. Okay, I'm going to have to fight a few extra of these, but that's fine. Who knows, maybe I'll find a world drop. I just, you know, wander around, kill an extra one of these guys, and end up with a Agrimar stride. Somehow I don't think it'll work out like that, but you can dream. I'm not sure if... Actually, I don't think this guy could wear Agrimar Stride. Let us see. Loot. Uh, no, it's Spiritual Journey. Uh, while Ghost Wolf was active, the remaining cooldown on Feral Spares recovers 500% faster. In order to master the wolf, you must become the wolf. A vice of Trey's Rykul Shaman. These little uh, pridelings are adorable. Ah, oh, they all, when I momentarily went into the water, they all got uh, air bubbles themselves. Like the uh, helms. Uh, the, like, you know, the how my character gets. That is precious. Like, look at them! Look at them! They're just like flying kittens! Oh! That's precious! For a moment I couldn't... Actually, yeah, he did kill a trapper. Couldn't tell was that a trapper or, you know, like another one of the skeletons we found at the other side. They're precious. One day they'll grow strong, but until then, they must be protected. What insanity could drive someone to do such horrible things? There'll be no more trapping this day. Ooh, nice. Trapper's helm. <laughs> it just kind of looks wonky on him. Uh, the Twilight's hammer have made the uh, have uh, the Twilight's hammer have the alpha male of the high perch pinned down. You must head up. E uh, you must head east up the ramp. And release the ra uh, and release Razor Heart, Heart Razor, before the pride loses its, its patriarch. Let me read that again, as my English failed. The Twilight's Hammer have the Alpha Male of High Perch pinned down. You must head up. Uh, you must head east up the ramp and release Heart Razor before the pride loses its patriarch. Yes. Okay. So this way and up there. That's fine. That's doable. My god, the torn like put that putting down gigantic totems. Ooh, they've already killed a few. Twilight Subduer. I you're meant to subdue, not murder. It's an interesting definition. Oh so if he's still gliding there. Now I've suddenly got this song, you know, Can't Stop Me Now, having such a good time. Yeah. I've suddenly got that stuck in my head. Oh, that was kind of cool. For a moment, he, like, struck, you know, it was like he was struggling against him. Actually, you know, it's like he's swimming in the air. Heart Razor released. I won't, probably wouldn't be surprised if he was, like, originally, like, a rare you could fight here or something. Ooh, silken treasure chest. Did not notice. I I got notes because my hand my cursor went over it. Elemental raiment. Hmm, it's not bad looking. Don't know why it'll be worth over three grand. If that actually sold, I'll be quite happy. Oh, that was close. Also, of the little prylings are still following uh, Durakar. And here's Heart Razor, who's in need of a healing. The Great Heart Razor is a majestic creature. 
He's told me of his gratitude and fondness for you, Dukar. Really? Excellent. Ooh, I leveled. I have now got Stormbringer. Uh, your weapon attacks have a 5.0% chance to reset the remaining cooldown on Storm Strike and cause uh, your next Storm Strike to cost 50% less Maelstrom and trigger no cooldown. Twilight, ha uh, Twilight Skymaster Rick Tuffin is at the Twilight area up above and to the southeast. No matter what we do down here, if he's not dealt with, all hope is lost for High Perch. While Heart Razor is too injured to help you with the fight, he can fly you up there. The test is up to you, Durkar. Good luck. Goodbye. Shoot him out of the skies. You know, I could heal Heart Razor. You, you, you do know that, right? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. I take it. I, I choose to believe what he was. You know, uh. If he could add commentary to that line, it would be like, We've all seen your heal it. He's better without it. So apparently they've all, uh, they've tamed, stolen quite a few. He looks really weird like that. It's just like he's like some weird flying crab or something. It just looks really weird just seeing him floating there like that. But uh, it would be better if there was like an idle animation, you know? A proper thing. Not what he's got there. But yeah, it seems like they have broken a few um, wyverns. Let's just get rid of that. It will be a pleasure shooting you down. I'm already on the ground, you idiot. Useless Windrider. Don't need you anyway. Ah, it flew off. But technically, it's still with him. What's this? Shoot! No! Get, get away! Get off me! And his wind rider that had flown off a moment ago is flying off, flying off again. And now he's just fly, f falling out of the sky. <laughs> the babies like me. Duh. But um, yeah, that the, that kind of worked out weird. I think he probably. Got off one and got onto another one, and uh, that's the one that flew him off the cliff when the babies blinded it and him. Um, that's my guess. Um, I can't be uh, sure. I think it's a case of me being too powerful for that fight and killing him too quickly, so I'm end up kind of mushing everything together into one thing. How may I the Pridings said what? They must love you deeply for freeing them. Uh, thank you, Durkar. You've saved high, uh, high Perch. Uh, Skymaster's pants must have fallen off. D uh, Durkar, while you and the Pridelings were taking care of the Skymaster, Lakota Winsong came by. She told me to tell you to meet her east at the Twilight Bulwark. That must be where they're holding Magatha Grimtotem. Sadly, I can't get a uh, lift off the other guy. And actually, yeah, now that I think about it, I think I did do this back in the day on Pal and I. Um, I actually remember him having his own riverboat. So yeah, that's that talk. That's that memory cleared up. Can I be honest? I'm kind of excited for the next expansion, whatever it'll be. Just because I like new expansions, because there's a ton of quest content, there's the leveling thing, there's that. When you hit max level, there's uh, a ton of rep grinding, or just a ton of, um, like in uh, 7.2, like the Broken Shore content, there's just a ton of quests where it's just like, okay, we want to delay you, we want to delay you, we want to delay you, uh, just to drag this content out, and it's really irritating. Huh, she certainly changed her gear. What brings you to? Huh. That's a hammer belt. Well, it's hammer belt. Um I'm glad I'm glad that you made it. Don't don't mind my new clothes. It seems prudent to blend in. 
I owe you, I owe you a great deal for my freedom, Durkar. Now, let us see if we can free Magadip and put an end to the Twilight's hammer and Thousand Needles. Something to wear. I've got an idea for how you can get close to their leaders without getting killed, but first you're going to need to find something to wear. My suggestion is that you head up there and get their armor from them. Lakota's Mace. Uh, it's an upgrade over Power to Hippogriff, but I lose 4 agility, and it's better than lasting peace, but I lose 1 stamina. I don't know. Oh, how and haul over it. Break them out. Magda is not the only one that Twilight's Hammer have taken prisoner. While you're up there to the south, uh, you should break as many of them out as you can. Walk with me, right? mm -hmm. Mineral deposit just here. I haven't been doing nearly enough mining. I gotta grab this. Though saying that, uh, Mitchell isn't worth that much. It's worth uh, less than a gold a pop. Though I suppose that is something, you know, that is in a fair amount. Um, could be better though. Ball work defender. Uh, hopefully the blood stains won't be noticeable. Okay. So I have to just kill ten of these, it seems. Also, floating rocks. Interesting. You know, yeah, that's not enough for physics to find. You over there. Come, kill my jailer. Are you for, uh, here for the Grim, t for the Elder Crone? My Grim Totem? They're holding her to the east. That's a strange question to be yeah, okay, no. Uh I know that's probably feels it's that's a strange assumption. Um meh. whatever. Get some vengeance for me. Thank you. I will not forget. Uh, forget what? Uh, uh, just mineral there and well, mitral there and mitral over uh, in this uh, direction. We need to kill three more. Let's not aggro him yet. There's no need to engage. Need to free one more prisoner and I need to kill three more Twilight's Hammer. May as well kill these guys. Get some vengeance for me. Uh, sure, sure. Uh, oh yeah, I already flavor text in that. And storm strike, beautiful. Yeah, actually, storm strike should be. F these cultists are insane. They're trying to bring about the end of the world. Uh, yeah, they, it does more damage than I think enemies have helped. It's not half bad, really. It's nice that I can finally, up, I've been upgrading my gear on last. And they went through most of those early zones with what I got from, uh, like, Barons and Durotar. A dead orc? Uh, I guess that's the guy she killed. For the outfit. Uh, how much of that armor have you collected? You're going to want to be well disguised for the next thing you're going to have to do. Uh, recording. Locally. Locally. Line across, line up, line that way, that way. Uh -huh. All as well. Just want to make sure none of what's going tits up. You're going to want. Uh, yeah, I read that. Lokoda looks worried about the condition of the armor, especially the blood stains. You sure don't fool around, do you, dear car? Well, I'll have to do. You give so much of yourself without requiring anything in return. The, thousand, the people of Thousand Needles uh, are grateful, as am I. Uh, 
I guess I'll remove power to hippogriff. Eh, regrettably. Durkar, the bonds holding Magatha are especially encoded are especially encoded. She can only be released if we get those codes. There's advice near Codemaster D Talk in the bulwark to the southeast. It contains the codes. Please obtain them. Behind you. The three leaders of the bulwark are powerful and not be underestimated, Durkar. Fortunately for us, you now have a disguise that makes you look like one of the Twilight's cultists. You should put the disguise on and speak with Codemaster D uh, D Tuck. Commander Fastfuse and Elemental Starion, each alone. Get them to turn their backs on you, and when they do, strike quickly. Bulwark Disguise. Uh, don the Bulwark Disguise to pass yourself off as a member of the Twilight's Hammer. Ha. Huh. Looks cool. Kinda works with the bike. Um. I've never seen that icon elsewhere. But anyway, uh, this guy says, remember Twilight's Hammer. Good only within the Twilight Bulwark. His Bulwark Defender. What do you need? Do I know you? No? Welcome to the Twilight's Hammer. Huh. <laughs> thanks. Friendly Doomsday Cult. The Commander Fast Fuse. No loitering. What is it? I'm, I'm very busy, Defender. Commander, behind you. No more getting paratroopers. If you can make it here, paratroopers! Can... Actually, I do like that. Uh, his line, you know, the normal goblin line of if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. I think that's where he's going with it. Got cut off by the assassination. I like it. At least as far as I noticed it did, anyway. Who knows, maybe I just blacked out for a moment there, and... Yeah. Actually, here's a funny story for you. I was playing Grim Dawn before, and I was really tired for the first set of it, so I re-recorded it later on. Ooh, Twilight Iguana. Cool coloring on it. But anyway, uh, it uses Warp Beast model from um, Burn Crusade. Uh, face beasts? I can't, I can't remember what they're called, but I think that's the original beastie uh, with that model, and everything else is spawned off that. But anyway, uh, yeah, I was really tired playing Grim Dawn for the first set. I re recorded it after, but I was sent out to go stop the undead from attacking from the cemetery. And I had, uh, was going in, I found a guy trapped in a house, and for some reason I knew I had a portal ability. Like, my character was possessed and. I, Got managed to become depossessed and had been changed by the event. So he, uh, he got this portal ability thing and he could portal himself back to town or send other people back. There was actually a quest explaining it, but you can send the guy back before you get that quest, which is out of continuity. Uh, but regardless, I remember sending that guy back. Uh, then I went off to complete the quest. But and not long after I completed it, I felt like I woke up, and I had no idea how the hell I completed the quest. Last I remembered was sending that guy back home, and somehow I didn't think he was anything to do with the undead invasion. He was just trapped by it. Um, so it was, it was really f funny and a really uncomfortable experience, because, well, funny looking back on it, because I had no idea. I just, like, like, I was still playing, I was still doing it, and... I think I was still commentating, though for a little bit of it, I had gone rather quiet. <laughs> and I'm just finding it funny here. Um, just like blacking out mid-recording, just because of how fucking tired I was. Another time I was trying to put together Magic the Gathering deck, and I was rather tired, but I was, one, I was trying to reset my sleep schedule. And so I was doing this to help keep myself awake, and I just fall asleep for two hours sitting in the chair here. Wake up, and the cards are still out on the table. I'm just still, you know, plonked in the chair here. I'm just glad I didn't fall out around. You? Uh, keep your eyes peeled. They say that that freak that was attacking people earlier might still be around. Well. That freak. Oh yeah, here he's a right, right asshole. But utterly good looking. Utterly ravished. Ravished. Yeah, ravishes. Yes. Uh, hey, have you seen Grom Grom, have you? Orc about this tall? Mm, no? Mm. No one's seen him for a while. Probably want AWOL. Grom Grom? 